Vigan City, known as the most beautiful city in the Philippines. Famous for its Calle Crisologo, a street that seemingly transports us to a different time. Many tourists come to this UNESCO World Heritage Site. It feels like time has stood still here. So come with us as we travel back in time to a place that will remind us of the Philippines' rich history. We are Eds and Joyce. Together with our baby Milka, we travel the world one beautiful destination at a time in constant search for our next adventure. It's like no time has gone. <laughs> Hello! So today we are here in the Philippines' most beautiful city, Vigan! So Vigan is a city here in the Ilocos Sur region of the Philippines. It is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is well known for its cobblestone streets and Spanish architecture. Vigan is also infamous for its Calle Crisologo, which is very reminiscent of old Spanish and Filipino cultures. So I'm actually very excited to explore Vigan today because, I don't know, it just feels like such a vibe outside. We're very lucky to be staying here at Coffee Swings Lodge House because it is just a few steps away from the infamous Calle Crisologo. So yeah, we are so ready to explore Vigan today. But first, I think we need to have some breakfast. This is their vegan longaniza, which is very popular here in Vegan. It's really good. Longaniza is pork and sausage casing. The flavors are a bit strong. It's very garlicky and very peppery. I like mine with egg and a lot of vinegar. Good breakfast. So Eds and I tried going out a while ago, but it was just so hot. We waited until like late in the afternoon. It's now 3.30 and the sun is a lot more manageable. So yay, ready to explore. I think we'll just go to a museum first. I love trips like these. We not only learn history, but get inspired along the way. The Chrysologo House is an ancestral home turned into a museum. It blasts you straight right into the past. Each item, big or small, has its own story to tell. It's amazing how well they preserve all the furnitures and fixtures. They feel like a memory capsule of a much simpler time. He's a Vietnam War veteran. This is his uniform. So I think this was the actual Chrysologo house, right, babe? Yeah. Cool. It has all of their like memorabilia. Chrysologo murder? What does it say? Charged today that her husband was murdered by assassins hired from outside Ilocos Sur by their political enemies but promise there will be no attempts at vendetta from our side. Oh, oh. he was shot in, inside the church, St. Paul Cathedral. He was shot inside, inside the, the church. church. Oh my gosh, wild. After all this time, it's still pretty much the same names in the Philippine Senate. <laughs> and the president is Marcos again. <laughs> it's like no time has gone. <laughs> Milka, Milka's head. <laughs> this is where they used to have meetings. It's good because there's really good ventilation and good sunlight, daylight, probably. I think it also says that after the younger ones became politicians, this, this became like the dining area so that they can entertain their guests. It's a wooden refrigerator. <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. My grandmother had one of these. 
So I really love places like this because it kind of takes you back in time. And the reality is it's kind of nostalgic because my grandmother's house kind of looks like this. So it's kind of really nice to be in. I used to use pillow racks. Cool. It's probably layered like on top of each other up until, you know? Cool. So when I was a kid, I remember having one of those in the room because we lived in an old house on the second floor and the bathroom was on the ground floor. And my Lola would think that it's dangerous for us kids to go down alone at night. So she would leave an arenola in our room. We used to have a telephone just like that. <laughs> Same. I think we all did. <laughs> It's so cool. Being here really reminds me of my Lola's house before. It's really nice. I love it. I really like it. Imagine all the family members just hanging out here and then just using all these rocking chairs. We used to have these! Our rocking chair that looks exactly like this is still there. My grandmother and my grandfather used that for years. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I remember right, you can still actually look for the bullet holes in this car. Oh, there's another one here. So you've been here when you were younger? Really, really young. Like toddler young, probably. That must have been ages ago. <laughs> There's another bullet hole right here. It's a raincoat made one? out of leaves. Oh, that's a raincoat? Yeah. Cool. Cool, right? That's also cool. I think I'm ready to go back out and explore the rest of Vegan. You yeah, think? let's go. Like with time travel, look. It really is so picturesque here. If Starbucks was made long, long, long ago, it would look like that. Send na kayo pare. I'll just park my car wahe in front of Starbucks, pare. That's the car wahe. <laughs> <laughs> so for a place with a lot of kalesas and a lot of horses, vegan is extremely clean. Kalesas are something that I'm usually like wary of because you know the horse droppings and stuff. But vegan is really, really clean. So this is Milka's first time seeing horses and she is just trying to chase them. What did you do? I've been here before when I was really young, but now is the only time I've really appreciated. It's beautiful. Vegan City, especially Calle Crisologo, is such a vibe. It truly transports you to what feels like a different time and country. It really feels like time has stood still here. In a good way. Being here feels like being a part of a fairy tale. The place looks like it's straight out of a storybook. The city is very well preserved. It's no wonder it has become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I actually really taste different in this place. I feel like I'm back in time eating this ice cream. It's crazy. I don't know why, but even if these buildings are a little bit run down, it's still really beautiful and charming. See? 
It's such a vibe here. I kind of forget that it's a real city because it's so picturesque. I get so many blankets from here. I have that. <laughs> That's so cool. I just found one of the shops that I really buy the blankets from. That makes me so happy. I did not even know that their shop was here. There are so many interesting finds here in Vegan. There's no shortage in shops here. From grocery stores to antique shops. From blankets to trinkets and snacks. As well as different arts and handicrafts. Maybe they have trinkets for the house. I really like this. It's cool, right? The people from our hotel have recommended this empanada shop to us because we were asking them what the best place to try it and what they told us was to try CJ's empanada. So we are here now to try it. So I never knew CJ means Casa Jardin. So we're here. This honestly looks like the perfect place for us to have lunch. I'm kind of hungry, so yay. I really love visiting places like this. It takes you away from reality and just puts you in like a storybook setting. It really feels like you're in a completely different world here in Vegan. The streets are so cute. The buildings are so picturesque, so it really is the Philippines' most beautiful city. I can see why it's the most beautiful city. It's so nice. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, so <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. Food's there. This is vegan empanada with veggies, egg, and meat. I'm so excited to try this. It's really my favorite food in the world. I'm a big fan of empanada, but this looks so different from the usual ones that I eat. It looks pretty bulky and big. Just better means it has more meat inside. First, this goes well with iloko suka, onions, salt, and some chili. Yes. Mm. It's so good. It's really one of the best ones I've ever tried. So this is called okoi. It is, it's basically a shrimp pancake. So it's similar to the Korean pancakes, but this one's with shrimp. Mm. It's so good. It's the perfect snack. So the shrimps and the scallions and the batter are just really, really nice. It's salty. It's just the perfect snack to lift up your day, you know. Really good. Love that. It goes really well with the suka and, of course, onions and chili. So good. So, so good. Oh. This empanada is so good. It's so, so good. Mm. It's the perfect lunch. So good. It's actually vegan longanisa inside. And then the egg makes it like a little bit creamier and subdues like the salty taste. And then this, I don't actually know what this is. It feels like it's sauerkraut. So, yeah, it's really good. Sun is setting, so the stores are just setting up outside. The streets are coming alive, so it's nice. It's so cute. It's like the perfect mix. Oh, cool. So I think we've made it to what they call Plaza Burgos. This is Zumba. Zumba is life. 
<laughs> Wind is getting so chilly right now. It's a nice podcast a while ago, so it feels really, really good. So behind me is like the Cathedral of St. Paul. It's one of their more popular attractions here. But of course, we cannot enter because it's been damaged by the earthquake and they haven't been able to repair it just yet. I think this is where the dancing fountain is going to happen later. Yeah. At 7 o'clock, right? Yes. This city is really picturesque. Like everywhere you look, it's just so pretty. You want to go to the capital? Sure. What is your capital? What? What's there? Well, Cody, you are such an explorer. <laughs> so cold now. The walk around here is just really nice. I really enjoyed today too. It's so funny because we've been seeing the most common franchises in these really cute buildings and it's just so interesting to us. I don't know why, but it feels really nice to be seeing all of these like familiar brands in these aesthetic buildings. The streets have such a different vibe at night. It's so cute. Vegan has such a different vibe at night. I don't know. It's so cute. Like, it's so different, right, from today? Yes, it's so different. Oh, it's so aesthetic. It's so... <laughs> it's just such a vibe here. It's so, so laid back, you yeah. know? <laughs> it, it somehow feels like we're like in another country or something. Like, <laughs> it really doesn't feel like we're in the Philippines at all. It really feels like we time travel to the past. You feel it? Yeah. <laughs> so these buildings, when from the outside, look like they're really old and and like from the past. But when you go inside, it's really modern and everything. So you can really understand why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They really preserve the essence of this city. Such a beautiful city. I am so happy we came. But we'll end the vlog here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.